Hi! In this video you will see the design and development of an ultimate lithium-ion battery charger and capacity tester designed inside a compact sized wooden box. It is capable of testing capacities of up to 9 lithium-ion cells and to charge 16 cells at a single time. This box is very lightweight and portable to be carried to any location. So, let's see how it's made. First a fiber PCB with 12 cross 12 inches was selected to place the charging and testing modules into one place. Next, traces were designed on this board using a permanent marker. After that it was time for etching this PCB board. Here are the results of this process after which I drilled holes for connection purposes. A nice PCB board ready for soldering process. Next, these PCB spacers are to be fixed on this board so that the capacity testers may be attached to this board. Now it's time to solder and fix the modules on to this PCB board. Next the cell holders need to be soldered. In order to hold the two PCBs and power supply in one place, I have designed this wooden box. These two hinges are for the top cover and capacity tester PCB to be opened or closed. These three holes are for the power connector, fuse holder and the on-off switch. and the power supply and charging circuit board will be attached here using nuts and bolts. These magnetic locks will hold the covers while moving this box. And a nice strong handle is required for holding this box while moving it. Let's place the fuse holder in its place first so we may solder it with the 220 volts connector. This switch will be used for turning the power supply on or off.
Here is a switching mode power supply which requires 220 volts input voltage and delivers constant 5 volts output with up to 40 amperes current. The live and neutral wires will be attached to these points. while the output positive and negative connections are attached to these points. Let's fix this power supply on this wooden box. The power supply is now fixed and ready for further connections. I've already jointed these connectors with these wires. So finally, the input connections are complete and the 220 volts can now move safely towards the power supply. Now it's time to attach the battery charging circuit board. Each of these switches are placed to turn on or off two of the lithium-ion charging modules. and these thick wires are soldered on the board as high current will be passing through them. The circuit board is now fixed with the two bolts. Now it's time to connect these wires with the power supply. Let's test the circuit board by turning on all the switches. And it's a success!
I've already prepared the second PCB board of capacity tester, and now it only requires to be attached on to this wooden box. Let's test these modules and make sure that they all are turning on properly. Finally, let's attach the top cover onto the wooden box using nuts and bolts. Also, the magnetic lock part needs to be attached too. So finally, our lithium-ion battery charger and capacity tester station is finally completed. Let's check the output voltages of these charging modules which should be 4.2 volts. And the input voltages should be 5 volts. Perfect. As a sample, let's test if this station is working fine. The first cell is now being charged, as indicated by the red LED.
and the second is also charging now. Let's check the capacity tester circuit. And it's working as expected. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. See you later!